Welcome to this short introduction on the MSc in Risk, Resilience and Sustainability, delivered through the School of Geography at University College Dublin. Risk and resilience are two key words of our time. Every day our news feed is inundated with images of natural hazards like floods, bushfires such as those that occurred in Australia recently, earthquakes and the impact that these events have on vulnerable communities. Well, on the earthquakes and the volcano side of things, of course, uh, I can look at those processes from a scientific perspective, but if I can use them to predict uh, the likely hazards and the likely risks for people, then that adds an entirely different level and purpose to our work. So they don't need to uh, be geographers to study this course. All they need is to have interest in their environment, have the passion to learn more about the environment to cause changes and to be part of the solution. Well, I suppose the people who should be studying a course like this, certainly from the Earth side of things, is somebody who's interested in processes, is interested in the way the, the Earth behaves, is interested in uh, the variety of uh, hazards that could potentially befall us. So somebody with a good inquiring mind who wants to understand how these processes work, but just as importantly, if not more importantly in this context, it's trying to work out quantitatively to assess the risk to people. I mean, if a hazard happens in an area where nobody lives, it's interesting academically. But if a hazard is happening in an area where people uh, are densely populated areas, then um, uh, this is a worry. And people like those who are going to attend this course will basically make a living out of that. I think ultimately hazards and earth hazards are becoming increasingly important. Uh, for one thing, uh, the population on earth is actually increasing. And as we do that, we end up living in places which are increasingly hazardous uh, from an earth perspective. Um, from another, um, obviously we all know about climate change. And if there's one process or some processes which are actually sensitive to climate change, it's some of the most important which are likely to impact us. So for example, sea level change, uh, droughts, floods, these are all hazards which are negatively impacted. And so the frequency is increasing with time as climate change is kicking in. And uh, so a course like this is, is very timely. Um, we need to address both those issues which are going to be exacerbated by climate change and also by the fact that there are many, many more of us and we'd be living in uh, more inhospitable places from an earth hazard perspective. At the end of graduation from this program, students are equipped to work with international organisations, especially those that are interested in climate change and sustainability. Uh, they can also have the opportunity to work with the environmental protection agencies of different countries. They have the opportunity to work with uh, United Nations uh, environmental programs. And they have the opportunity to also work with different NGOs that are interested in environmental issues. <laughs>